To insert an action button in your PowerPoint presentation, you must first use the auto shapes and choose option that says action buttons. From here you got several options, about 12 different options here. 11 of the 12 have a picture on top of the action button, but the first one right here says custom does not have a picture. I like to choose that one because then I could type on it and there's no pictures blocking the words. So if I click on custom here, you'll see my cursor turns into a plus sign like normal. I could then draw the custom action button. But when I let go of my button, this dialog box is going to jump up. What this dialog box is pop pretty much saying is say, hey, when you click on this button right here, what do you want it to do? And by default it says nothing. Well I want to change that. I want to hyperlink it to something. Well by default here it says next slide, which goes to slide number two. If that's what you want, fine, keep it that way. But if I want this slide number one to go all the way to slide number four when you click on it, well I need to change something here. So the options I have here are previous slide, first slide, last slide, last slide viewed, or end show. Uh, none of these options really work for me. But wait, there's more. If I scroll down, I have about five more options. Custom show, slide, URL, other PowerPoint presentation, or other file. I'm going to go to slide. If I click on slide, you'll see that I have little miniature previews of my slides down here. And so I can pick exactly where I want it to go. And I said I wanted to go to slide number four, so I'm going to choose slide number four. Click OK and OK. Now it's supposed to only work when I click on it. Well, I'm clicking on it and nothing seems to be working. Well, what I need to do is I need to go into my view show here <clears throat> for it to actually work. Now if I click anywhere, it'll just go to slide number two and beyond. But if I go back to my view show and click on the button, I skip from slide one directly to slide four. And so the action button's really nice because I can make them go exactly where I want them to go. If I press the escape key, I can get out of PowerPoint and go back to here. Now, this is an auto shape, so I could simply type whatever I want. Or, I could double click on it. I could change the color of it. I could double click on it, and yes, I could even add fill effects to it. Now, you might want to pick something that looks a little bit better than that. So, I'm just going to stick with tan. <clears throat> so, you can change anything you want. Now again, if I click on it again, you can rotate the button with the yellow, uh, the green square, I'm sorry, and the yellow diamond over here. I can make it real thick button or basically a rectangle. So it's really up to you. Now, I'm not done exactly with action buttons because that is the action buttons down here. But really, you can use any auto shape to be an action button. So if I choose maybe a star, for instance, I can treat it just like any other auto shape, except if I right click on it, I can choose action settings. And I'm going to apply these action settings to the star. And then now the star is going to turn into an action button. So I'll make the star go to slide number five. Now again, I could type whatever I want, I could double click on it, I could change the color, etc., etc. You know, do everything like normal. And now the star is an action button only when I view it. See how my cursor looks like an arrow right now, but when I move it on top of the star, it looks like a hand? Well, that means it's an action button working. So I click on the hand, it goes right to slide number five instead of slide two. So action buttons are really, really nice. Now, let's say I made a mistake on one of my action buttons, and it's not supposed to go to slide four, it's really supposed to go to slide six. Well, I can simply right-click on it, go back to action settings. From here, I can hyperlink it to slide six, click OK, click OK, and now it's fixed to slide number six. If I go back into my presentation, press this button right here, and you'll see it's fixed to slide six. That is how you add an action button by going to Auto Shapes Action Buttons or by drawing any auto shape, right clicking on it, and go to Action Settings. All of those things work, and good luck.